Hey there, it's Munchie Middlevert Mama, and this video is geared totally and absolutely for girls only. So if you are a guy, please stop watching now. I know you're still watching, so click the stop watching button. Okay, good, good, okay. Now I feel safe. All right, guys, girls, guys. When I say guys, I mean like everybody, but girls. Okay, you know what I mean, onward. In this video, I am talking about the Diva Cup. Whoa. Okay, so I am gonna start with basic female anatomy because I believe that will make the Diva Cup more understandable and hopefully give you an insight even into your own body. Now I'm gonna be right back because I have a little munchkin over there currently trying to eat dog treats. So just one second. All right. I'm back. So like I was saying, I'm gonna start with basic female anatomy, okay? So, in here, this is my book. In here it shows the whole basic female anatomy, but the ones that are the most important is the vagina, the cervix, and the uterus, okay? So the vagina is this line right here, you can see it right there, okay? The cervix is right in between that and the uterus, the uterus being that pink U shape, okay? Now, why is this important? Well, it answers a lot of questions about the Diva Cup. Uh, people have asked, can it get lost in there? Nope, it can't get lost. It's a one way in, one way out system. Even if you were to shove your Diva Cup all the way till it tapped the cervix, it's it's not going anywhere. I will not get past that. Um, a lot of people have asked, well, will I be able to get it back out? Yes. Just by sheer gravity, your cup, let's just say you put it in too far, will gradually come back down. Okay. The other thing is, is some people have asked, well, can I still pee if I have the cup in or do I have to take it out? Well, yes, you can still go to the bathroom, okay? Being, because this is the vagina, the cervix, and the uterus. This is the uh, urethia, this is where you go pee, and this is your bladder, okay? They're two different systems, so to speak. So yes, you don't have to take the Diva Cup out, you're totally fine. Now, the other thing that is not really clear to people when they first get the cup is why they have to insert it this way, not this way because you feel like okay well if I'm standing or you know you think well my for lack of a better word my vagina seems to be directly underneath me it would make more sense to go this way well no it doesn't it needs to go in this way and normally when you're putting the cup in you're in a squatting or a sitting position and when you are like this that it'll make sense when I show you the picture why you want to put the cup in this way Okay, so back to this picture. You see this, the vaginal wall. If this picture were to sit, so to speak, if she were to sit or squat, that vaginal wall is gonna go to a horizontal level. And that is why they tell you to put the cup in this way, not this way, okay? Because if you were gonna try and put it in the other way, it wouldn't work very well and actually be kind of painful. So that's why you don't wanna put it in that way, okay? So hopefully that overview kind of helps you. And if you have any questions, you know, you can always comment on the video and ask. So onward, the Diva Cup itself. Okay, it's medical grade silicone. There are no perfumes or dyes in it. And you don't want that in your body. You don't want all those chemicals and those things in your body. Okay, so it just looks like this. And it's, this is a size one. They do have two sizes. The size two is a slightly larger cut. The reason being, is as women age or they give birth, their vaginal wall can get stretched out some or it can be relaxed a little bit more and it's not as firm. That being said, then this, this cup might not be big enough. So they do say if you're 35 or older or you have had babies, go ahead and get the size two cup, okay? When I got this, I was not married yet. I did not have any kids. So I have the size one cup still and it's worked well for me but people's vaginas are different. Everybody's different. Find what works for you. You're just going to have to kind of dig back in your memory. And when you go to the store to get this, just think, am I a bigger size or a smaller size? Okay. I can't help you there. You got to decide that. All right. 
Onward. The other thing that uh, has bothered some people are is the tab at the bottom. They say when they insert it, they can still feel it. So what a lot have done to fix that are two things. They either cut the tab off or they've cut the tab off and they turn it inside out, the cup inside out. I have personally never done either one because I don't need to. When I put this in, I don't feel the tab. On top of that, my thumbs are so short. If I were to cut off the tab, it would be very hard to pull this cup out. Now, the other thing that people have run into is pulling the cup out. Sometimes they have pain with it. They, it you know, it's really hard or different things. Well, follow the directions in this very closely because they will tell you when you go to pull it out to slide your finger up the side, okay, like this and just push in to release the suction. Because think of this, this this way, if it's suctioning to the side and you just go to pull it out without releasing the suction, you're literally, it's gonna feel like you're trying to pull out part of your vagina with it. So you don't wanna do that. Do release the suction, okay? The other thing is, is when they're trying to pull out the cup, it's kinda of hard. Well, don't pull from the tab, pull from the bottom, but you'll kind of see, I don't know if you can kind of see these little ridges right there. Pull from about there, okay? If you try and pull from the tab, it's gonna be hard. If you try and pull way up higher, you could. Basically anywhere from here up. Just, if your cup is full, <laughs> just be careful of pinching it too much or you're just gonna go and it's all gonna come out. Sorry to sound so gross, but that could happen, okay? So. Folding the Diva Cup is the other thing that people have struggled with. In the directions, they give you two different kinds of fold. What they call the C-fold, or some people have called it the taco fold. Okay? It looks like that. Hopefully you can see that. Okay? Or the one where you literally just roll it. And this one's kind of hard for me because my thumbs don't keep it shut. Okay? It's just a roll. Neither of those worked very well for me. So I researched it, and I did find a fold that worked for me. Now, guys, there is no right or wrong way to fold this cup. It's whatever will get it in for you and get it in correctly, okay? So it's not like if you can't get these folds right, then it, all hope is lost. No, just find what works for you. Now, what worked for me is what is called the seven fold, okay? This is the seven fold because it looks like a seven. Yeah, how genius of a name was that, right? This fold works really well for me. So when I can insert it like this and it goes poop and it works fine, okay? Now on the Diva Cup, there are four little pinholes and sometimes when you go to take the cup out, there is tissue or things stuck in those little holes. One of the best ways to get them out is if you have access to a sink, like you're in one of those bathroom stalls where there's a sink in there. You can just go over there and rinse it out, or if you don't have access to that, just take your finger and just kind of roll back and forth right in that area of whatever hole is plugged, and the stuff will generally come out. Now, the other struggle with this is, well, what if you're in one of those bathrooms where it's all separate stalls, all separate sinks? None of us wants to go out and be like, hey, guys, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just washing this out and going back in. Okay, not cool, right? Well, some people are like, well, they should have thought of that when they created this. Well, they did. All you have to do is either take with you, do one of three things, basically. Either just take your cup out, dump out the blood, leave it as is, and put it right back in, okay? Uh, second option is to have free and clear wipes with you that can be flushable or you can just throw it away. And you just wipe your cup. Uh, the third option, which is my least favorite option, is you can use toilet paper, but to me it gets kind of sticky and it's bleh. It never works as well as you think it would. Okay, so those are your three options if you are in just a stall by yourself. Okay, um, I have found any of those three to work, except for the third one is, like I said, not my favorite. So, hopefully that answers a lot of your guys' questions questions and I think the only last thing that I forgot was how far do you insert this well it's kind of like a tampon if you've had an applicator with a tampon you only insert it so far and then you push the button blah 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 this is if you just have a tampon that you just manually insert with just your finger this is just kind of the same way let's just say this is your vaginal barrel when you insert the cup you want it in far enough where that little tab is in about uh, half an inch or so 
<clears throat> or the bottom of the cup, I should say, is in about half an inch or so. You don't have to shove it really high up. The blood's coming down anyway. It, it'll hit the cup and it's fine. <clears throat> so you want it in far enough where it's comfortable, but it, it's not going to come back out. You want it in far enough where you can reach it, but, uh, you know, it won't be a problem that way. You don't have to shove it all the way to the top. So, oh, by the way, and if you get one of these, they give you this handy dandy little carry bag. Now, the last, last thing I keep forgetting to tell you is how to clean it. <laughs> Sorry, my baby's climbing under chairs and discovering the world of chairs. Anyway, <clears throat> when you go to clean it, I have personally never boiled it, but some people have. I just never have. Um, I preferably like to just stick it in water. And I probably do a couple inches of water and then about anywhere between two to four tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide. And I will just let this soak for a few days or more and then just let it air dry and then I put it in my bag and that's how I clean it. Uh, you can go look up how to clean it. Just don't use harsh dish soaps, soaps, things like that that can just get into the silicone and sit and possibly cause problems later. Do you try and use a very mild soap if you do. In fact, Diva Cup does have a specific wash you can use or just boil it or do what I do. So I hope that helps you ladies. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you like most of my videos or a lot of them or all of them, please hit that subscribe button. And when you do, a little bell icon will pop up to the right of that subscribed button. And in which if you click that, you will be notified every time I make a video. I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, comment below and I would love to answer them for you. All right, guys, girls, you know what I mean. Have an awesome day. I will see you later.